lot where I spend a lot of my work hey guys. week. You guys have it. Fans are driving me absolutely crazy. I, I've been asked how many times by different people, and even Bryce Adams commented on one of the videos. It's insane. All right, Bryce Adams, if you see this, uh, if you want to be make an uh, interview video, and uh, like maybe over Discord or Zoom or something, or uh, if you want to meet, let me know. We can do an uh, actual video. Um, but I will finally do a review. But before I always do a review, I always like to see who the person is. I don't know who Bryce Adams is. That's not a statement. Yeah. I have no clue who Bryce Adams is. And I'm not going to lie and say I understand who Bryce Adams is. So let's dive right into that right now. And, and I just want to see if I can kind of grasp a little bit of a personality from this video. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you. Week, which is often 80, 90, 100 hour work weeks. And a lot of it is in here in our office. Show you uh, where I work, where Jay works, and where everybody else works. Alexis, our assistant, sometimes comes in. She sits here. We have the outbuilding, which is where the gym is located. It's where our whole team comes to work every single day. It is our backyard. Oh, <laughs> so there it is. Conveniently, we have a scooter for transportation. That's no joke. We actually do use that, like <laughs> an actual thing. We have our whiteboard with just some a couple of things that we're working on currently. We're always doing a bunch of things. Some people think it's just you know, I'll snap a picture and you know write some messages back. While that is important, and I definitely do that, and I do love it. There is so many other things that go on in the background. We're analyzing so much data. We're trying to do marketing. We have social media stuff that we're rolling out now. It's good. I have no complaints. My workspace is here. I primarily sit here day and night, honestly. Jay is in close proximity, so we do a lot of collaboration work. A lot of data, you a lot guys, of information that we collect. Told us she does have a boyfriend, a husband, so. Wow. Analyze, I, we work on our lineups, the videos we're sending out. This is like our main master sheet. Obviously, we have a lot of other things that we're working on, but I uh, track our advertising, what the performance is like. We're always working on like several different initiatives all about. The one and only, only fans up, obviously. I do my messages on the VIP page. The girlfriends, which are out in the gym, they do all the messages on my main page. Say hi to them, they're amazing and awesome, and super helpful. Shelves well, are like most, a mini representation yeah, yeah, of said, our lives. Uh, different adventures, things that we've collected. Believe it or not, we're a huge sea glass people. Like we have probably five, 6,000 pieces of sea glass. I need to just get them on display. That is a super old 3D printer. It's probably like six years old that Jay hand built with his dad. It was like a whole kit that literally came in like a thousand pieces. This is an actual geo, an unsplit one. We did this in a basement for like three, four hours. Bye. <laughs> Fun memorabilia, memories, more of Jay's books, a lot of, a lot of baseball stuff. Just to that was fun. There was a good live show we did that here on our left. That was cool. I have a couple extra things. I want to make like a whole wall down in the gym, like different outfits, wristbands from like Coachella. I still have the black tape from the black tape model. Hey, Adam, these things like a quick post. Then before we finish this video, because I'm guessing I'm kind of learning how like you actually turn into like a, a business. Um, how old is she? And so she sounds like she's younger, but Russ Adams. So she's 29. So she's almost 30. Oh, is this the same Bryce Adams? Like, yeah. yeah, she's 29. 200k, yeah. Alright, let's dive right in. Back to this. You like I'm gonna put that up? Oh, and all the cool SpaceX stuff. Real SpaceX. Jay's workstation. And believe it or not, this is his desk from when he was 16. He hand carved all of these things, which is actually pretty fun, pretty cool. I mean, not bad for a knife and a 16 year old, though. And he helps a lot with the data and the planning and all sorts of stuff. On Mondays, everybody gathers up here. We project up on this TV and we look at all the content that we're going to put out for the next week. I do have food and water for my cats here in the office. They do frequently come in here. They're not a fan of the camera. I did try, honestly, I did try. I have four cats. I don't work in my mask. I know that's a question people are going to ask. I like to do it for you guys. I do take it off in other places. This is me. This is my great spot. We're still, we'll have to do an update. I'm still going to make it a little more homely. I'm a girl. I, I think I need a couple plants. <laughs> Lots of plants. <laughs> Jay's like, no plans. All right, cool. This has been fun. Where I spend my time when I'm not doing content. Except for now. Bye. So I guess that's, uh, I guess we'll, yeah, you let's keep diving into it. But... There's a movement that's here to stay. The Happy Earth Movement dedicated to spreading love and care for our planet. And we're proud to have a partner that shares our passion, Happy Earth. They're not just a brand, they're a force for positive change. 
Happy Earth brings you a collection that's more than just clothing and accessories. It's a statement, a commitment to protecting our planet's most precious inhabitants. With their stunning vulnerable species stickers, you can proudly showcase your support for wildlife conservation. Each sticker tells a story, each one helping raise awareness. And speaking of stories, the Fading Forest hoodie is more than just a hoodie. It's a wearable piece of art that represents... Alright guys, so now we're on the actual OnlyFans itself, right? The actual OnlyFans of itself, right? We're gonna be talking about is it actually worth it? Now, she has a premium one, which is right here, the Bryce Adams Premium account, which costs money, but you get the free version, there's no nudity, so that's, and it's all free, so I don't have to worry about uh, hiding any content because I'm not, there's no pay per views that are being shown. I just wanna make that disclaimer out there, and there's nothing being shown. That is, uh, that is behind a paywall, so there's no content that's not publicly accessible without money income. So I just want to make that statable. Uh, that we won't be showing anything like that. Now, um, it is free. You're not going to see anything that's um, worth it. Now, I would like to put on film that I did not want to do this at all. That you guys kept blowing up my comment section, asked me to do this, and driving me crazy. Even Bryce Adams herself came to my YouTube channel. Um, I just want to point that out there. This was not, again, this was not by my choice at all whatsoever. Um, anyway, so here's a video for All right, you. it's the moment you all have been waiting for. The 19 year old intern of mine, whom I have been teasing, testing, putting through training, get some. I am actually very, very shocked that he didn't see this coming. Uh, I've kept him very much on his toes, very sporadic, and very much cheesy, touchy, all of the above. And it was one late night that we were working out and then he was working late. So I was like, okay, all right, we'll, we'll chill, we'll relax. And I was like, all right, he's there in this. I'm gonna surprise him with it. And he did not catch on. Like I told him, I was all sneaky about it. I was like, all right, we're gonna sneak off. We're gonna go over here, you know, come meet me over here in the bathroom. And he met me in there. And I started like messing with him and stuff like that. And he thinks it's just gonna be like one of our usual videos. And it's not. And it takes him a couple minutes to catch on, but you have got to see his face. He is so genuine in his reactions and responses every single time. I'm like, okay, he's gonna suspect something. Like every time I just keep like leveling up when I like come at him like. So she is married. I would like to point that out. Um, no offense to you, Bryce Adams. Oh, um, apparently I get, so she runs like a very like multi-million dollar business. She's like one of the top only F creators. Um, what what I would say in this matter of fact is, is that she's a little older. She's you can kind of tell she's older and she's trying to act younger, um, and that's why I've never really like paid her any attention. But um, so yeah, I'm um, like make sure you guys like and subscribe and the notification bell. The reason why I'm out of it, I'm just tired and I didn't want to do this. So let's hear this one. Okay, everybody, I'm really excited about this one. I present to you, fuck fest. This is basically a sex cabin, and that is not in the marketing. I made it a sex cabin, but this is a, an extremely crazy video. Like, I, I can't even start to like explain the whole plot to you guys. I just want to hit some high points. It is incredibly hot. It is a long, fun fucking video, like non-stop fucking. Like, literally from like midnight to like 1.30, I'm going like full board, just getting like torn apart, and I loved it, like seriously. So Jay was asleep, and let's just say he was in extremely close proximity for at least half of the time. Right there, being sneaky, it involves not one in turn, but two, which I like doing, it keeps things spicy and different, but I totally was spur of the moment, spontaneous, literally Jay's asleep, a couple feet away, got the first one going, then the second one. And like I said, it was a long time. So let's just say it spooled over. And then I had the very first real three-way with the interns as well. And I got an ending that I like, which I think you guys should just read the title to kind of get more of like a play-by-play -play and the extra details of exactly what kind of ending that is. But I just wanted to paint an extreme picture because it's seriously incredibly hot. There's so much in it. There's so many angles, so many cool views. Um, I had multiple cameras going, so I have like an, a really cool edited version where you can see my face, but you can also see like penetration and like backdrops and certain people in certain spots. I'll say that, but it was an incredible time. I think you all are gonna lose your minds over it, honestly. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Like seriously, it was very, very hot. So if you have any questions about it, you can let me know, but definitely read the title, check it out, and I would love to hear what you guys think about it. What's your favorite part? Ah, I'm excited. Okay.
I gotta go. Bye. Yeah, so she, I guess she does a lot of things like some intern fetish thing that I guess she has going on here. For our Marathon Live. Hi, everybody. Hey. Who are you guys? Hey, redo. <laughs> Looper. Oh, I know. Just kidding. We're gonna keep going. Who is this? I'm Raina. There we go. Alexa. There we go. Okay, <laughs> welcome. And this is your personal invite to the Sex Marathon Live show that we're having next Friday, August 11th at noon Ooh. Eastern. So there's going to be, it's at least four and a half hours long, maybe upwards of six hours. We'll see. We're going to do four consecutive live streams. Well, it's going to be one live stream, four consecutive shows is what I should say. So maybe Miss Alexis will go on with somebody. I heard there might be some tying up. Maybe, maybe not. There's definitely something for everybody. Boy, girl action, girl, girl action, maybe a solo show. We have to decide what you're going to do. I have yeah. to see what I'm going to do. I know I got the last slot, so it's going to be a hell of a time. But at least five different girls, at least two different guys. Woo! She almost fell and her phone almost went in the river. Did it go in the river? <laughs> this is full of adventures. Thanks for sticking with us. Oh, if you are interested in this, of course, you're going to have to pay for a lot of this stuff here. Um, it's like tipping and um, it's nothing. This is a free account, so there's nothing where you're going to be enjoyable here. So I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But, you know, if this floats your boat, I guess. It's a movement that's here to stay. The Happy Earth Movement dedicated to spreading love and care for our planet. And we're proud to have a partner that shares our passion, Happy Earth. They're not just a brand. They're a force for positive change. Happy Earth brings you a collection that's more than just clothing and accessories. It's a statement a commitment to protecting our planet's most precious inhabitants. With their stunning Vulnerable Species stickers, you can proudly showcase your support for wildlife conservation. Each sticker tells a story, each one helping raise awareness. And speaking of stories, the Fading Forest hoodie is more than just a hoodie. 